Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the pessimism card and uh, you know this is uh, going through a, a feeling of being isolated, feeling let down by the situation and really feeling very pessimistic about it. So maybe you feel like nothing is working out as far as your relationship goes. You're feeling very isolated, very restricted. And this is all going on in your head. You can see everything is in her thought, in her head. This is making you, uh, you know, maybe feeling a bit depressed, um, you know, and um, it's restricting you from moving forward. So uh, it's an energy that you do need to get rid of, really. Um, you've got the power card over here, and uh, this is the emperor card. Uh, maybe you were involved in the past in a relationship that was very controlling and very, very manipulative. Um, you know, and uh, this person uh, was very dominating. You've got that Aries uh, energy coming through over here. So you could have been even dealing with an Arian, uh, uh, Aries person or even a... Um, Scorpio person, uh, this is a card ruled by Mars over here, and maybe it was a very, very negative, toxic kind of relationship that you dealt with. Uh, they were very controlling. And now you've got the Illumination card. So you've been doing a lot of thinking. Uh, you've got that Ace of Fire, the Ace of Wands, really, of over here. So you're now coming up with new ideas and new solutions to your problem. Uh, and, you know, you're seeing the light, really, with this Illumination card here. And, um, you know, you're getting back uh, your fire. This is your card because this is ruled uh, the Ace of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius energy is in that. Uh, and uh, this is about even getting back your freedom uh, with that Ace of uh, Wands. But definitely being more enlightened uh, after going through this particular situation. Now, in the past, you've got the Sorceress card over here, and you've got the Success card over here. So, uh, you've been focusing on your career and maybe putting a lot of emphasis on it, and, uh, you know, uh, the emphasis being on getting back security or getting back your financial success. So, this is the card of success, and, uh, you know, it seems like money has been coming to you. So, financially, you're well on track. You've got the Sorceress card over here, which is, um, you know... Um, the magician card of here, so you are trying to manifest a new relationship in your life over here. So you are, uh, you're doing a lot of, um, you know, thinking about it as well, and you might be doing a lot of communication. It seems like you're a pretty busy person at this particular moment, but you are focusing on manifesting this new relationship. You might even be, uh, you know, um, because of all this uh, success coming in now, you have a clearer thoughts, and uh, you know, you know what you want as well. Um, so you know. With the Magician card, it's about having everything in your hand. So, uh, you know, it's not like you're lacking in, in anything to be able to manifest uh, this particular relationship. So, um, you know, it seems like you are trying to focus on that at this particular moment. So going into the future, you've got the Clarity card coming in. And um, this is the page of... Um, uh, swords, really. <laughs> uh, and this is talking about, uh, you know getting yourself a goal, uh, and, uh, you know, this could even be about travel, maybe you're involved in some kind of, um, you know, going out for business travel, or even just traveling, but refocusing your attentions, and you can see this is an archer, and Sagittarius is the archer in the uh, zodiac, so it looks like you're, uh, you know, uh, setting your sights on something, or you're going to be setting your sights on somebody, and focusing your attention in maybe trying to uh, manifest that particular relationship. And you've got that child uh, starting something brand new, the child of wind, which is, um, uh, you know, uh, making a decision. So you've got this black and white um, birds over here. So there's there's some kind of, uh, you know, there may be somebody that you're focusing on. And maybe you're looking at the positives and the negatives of starting a new relationship with them or even uh, looking at their positives and negatives. So you're weighing this person up, really, uh, to decide whether or not you want to uh, put any of your effort or energy into starting a relationship on, with them. So you might be quite attracted to this person, but you're, you're uh, at a dilemma at this particular moment as to whether you want to really uh, start a relationship with them. Uh, you know, you're looking maybe uh, at their good points and their bad points and trying to make a decision. So those are the energies coming in for those two weeks. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the um, cards from the uh, Jane Austen tarot. And I put this deck in the description box, so have a look.
Okay, so you've got the three of coins over here. So it looks like you are very, very uh, focused on your work at this particular moment. That's where, you know, you, you've got your head down and you're just getting on with things, really. Uh, you might be socializing with a lot of friends, uh, but it looks like there's somebody around you that really admires you at work. Uh, and you don't seem to have taken any notice of this particular person. So somebody's got their eye on you there, and, uh, you know, maybe they're very interested. But it seems like, you know, you're just getting on with things in your work. And maybe you don't even realize that this person really admires you. So what's happening with you there again, being very, very focused on work. You're very, very busy. You can see this person's multitasking over there, uh, you know, doing a lot of things uh, very independently here. So it looks like, you know, you're focused on that work. You've, you're just getting things done. And this is because uh, you've got that tower card over there crossing it. So it seems like, you know, you went through a really big dramatic ending of a situation. And maybe, you know, you're trying to get over it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're not really interested in actually starting a new relationship because it was a very, very difficult uh, energy that you seem to have come uh, through. So whatever that ending was, was very dramatic uh, and it was very traumatic as well for you. And it seems like now, uh, you know, uh, you're still getting over it, really. Maybe it's just fresh. Maybe it just ended uh, recently uh, and, you know, you're trying to get over it. So you're not really even noticing people around you. You've just got yourself focused on your work and you're trying to get through things, really. So in the past, you've got the Hermit card of here, spending a lot of time by yourself. Again, focused on work uh, with a card ruled by um, Virgo. Spending a lot of time by yourself uh, and maybe even studying right now. Maybe you're even taking exams or you're trying to specialize in whatever you're doing in your work on the work front. So you really don't seem to have any time for a relationship. You're just spending time uh, focused on that career. Now you've got the eight of candlesticks here. So something brand new, uh, maybe coming in, uh, but things are starting to move. Uh, for you with that eight of candlesticks. There might be some messages coming in, some communications. Or maybe you'll be doing some traveling or you maybe you have just done some traveling. Uh, and, you know, you, you seem to be really, really busy uh, speaking to people, but also, um, you know, maybe moving around quite a bit uh, with that eight of candlesticks. Now, there is somebody around that you do uh, quite admire, and this has got the Lord of Candlesticks over here. So somebody in your mind, uh, and it is a fire sign person as well, could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person that you, uh, you've got your eye on. Maybe you work with this may person, maybe this person is a boss, somebody in charge, but you definitely admire this person and you're quite attracted to them. They seem to wield a lot of power as well, so they might be a person in authority there. Now you've got the Ten of Candlesticks going to the future here. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe in the past you've been, uh, you've been the one that has been taking a lot of responsibilities within that relationship. Uh, whatever happened is come to an end. Those burdens and problems are now over. Whatever you faced, uh, you know, uh, whatever difficulties you faced with the Ten of Candlesticks has now come to an end. You have been keeping yourself isolated from the crowd. So you're not even going out, uh, or not even socializing, really. You know, you can see this woman's really sitting by herself over there uh, and not really, um, you know, indulging in any uh, kind of uh, relationship with anybody around them. So you seem to have isolated yourself completely. Maybe you're not even going out and socializing, even with that hermit card. Uh, you're keeping to yourself, really. And you're getting on with things. Uh, so you might be carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens as well. Uh, maybe you're also too too busy to actually even take on a relationship because you're doing so many things with that eight of coins. It's time to let go of the, those responsibilities and, uh, you know, um, go and find some fun with a, t uh, a ten of um, candlesticks over there. You know, this is, a uh, this is the card of being oppressed by all the responsibilities and burdens and problems that you're carrying on your shoulders. Uh, and uh, you need to let go of it in order to go get out there and have some fun. Now, uh, you've got the Knight of Quills over there. So uh, this is maybe dealing with some kind of, uh, or you're waiting for some kind of legal decision or waiting for some kind of official news to come in over here. It's going to come in quite quickly uh, with this Knight of Quills. Um, and, uh, you know, that information um, will change a lot of things. So you are waiting for some kind of decision to be made, but also some kind of news or some kind of, uh, information to come in and this is going to be of an official nature um, you know something legal coming in with that knight of quills 
So um, you've got the six of candlesticks over here. Now, once this, uh, whatever it is, whatever news comes in, you're going to be able to move forward. And it looks like, you know, with the six of candlesticks, it's usually victory after going through a lot of difficulties. So whatever news you're waiting for, whatever decision you're waiting for on the legal front, it looks like it's going to allow movement forward into the future. And even, you know, it might even uh, allow this relationship with this particular person over here to proceed. Uh, um, it's going to maybe set you free from that old situation because you've even got that ten of candlesticks. So being freed from that old situation, and there's some, it's that legal uh, decision that's being made that allows you to move forward. So freedom and victory after going through a lot of burdens and problems or uh, obstacles really in your life. So what you want in your life, the judgment card, is to find a new direction, a new uh, a new goal, uh, something uh, different to do. You want to follow a new path as far as a relationship goes. So you're starting, you know, having learned a lot of lessons from the past, uh, you want to change direction or change how you're doing things, really. So um, what's happening with you? We've got the five of quills over here, the five of candlesticks, and the four of teacups. Now, the five of... Quills is still being in a very, very toxic situation with people that are not really very supportive of you. People that are very, very critical. You can see these people criticizing this girl uh, quite a bit. So, um, you know, um, saying harsh things, really. So, you know, this could be the case that is happening with you, uh, where people are still being very, very... You know, it's a card about people being vindictive and really nasty, um, so that could be the situation that you are in at the moment. You've got the five of candlesticks over here. So whatever they're saying, you need to just walk away from it. Um, this card is about, you know, uh, being in a, a very competitive situation, but being in a, in a situation where people say nasty things, people gossiping behind your back, uh, and it's upsetting you. You can see this woman's pretty upset and she's walking away. But you need to choose your battles wisely with this particular card, not stand around and, uh, you know, uh, justify. Or don't give them any airtime, rather. <laughs> That's what I say. So even if they're talking about you and talking, uh, saying nasty things to you or, uh, you know, saying the nasty things behind your back, you need to just walk away from it. Uh, count to ten, really, and walk away from it. Uh, don't uh, give them the satisfaction of knowing that they got under your skin. Uh, you've got the four of teacups over here. So this is, uh, you know, in this card, it is spending a lot of time by yourself, uh, you know, nurturing yourself, maybe even, um, you know, recovering from whatever has um, happened. Now, with the four of teacups uh, or the four of cups, it's usually about an offer coming in as well. So there could be something really good coming your way, uh, something that you didn't expect with that four of teacups. Um, and... Uh, you know, something that's going to be really good because the the um, four of teacups is like somebody offering you uh, a new cup, an ace of cups. Uh, so some brand new relationship or new offer coming in with that four of teacups over there when you least expect it. Uh, you know, you can see this person is really focused on their work, but it looks, and you are very, very focused on that work of yours. It looks like there's going to be an offer coming in uh, when you least expect it. And it's going to be a really good offer. So, uh, you know, there might be a relationship that is on its way to you. And, um, you know, this this person might make some kind of um, offer to you, this person that you admire. And, uh, you know, you, you didn't really see it coming. So maybe they also have, uh, you know, feelings for you that you didn't realize. Uh, and it's going to be a really, really good offer. Uh, because, you know, the, it's an Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning of something uh, that will um, become very stable. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot, and this is for the uh, Oracle Read. You've got the Seven of Michael over here. There's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So here's a choice that you have to make whether to walk in the dark or walk in the light, really. Um, and uh, you have to make a choice uh, about how you want to do it. So you can either decide to just focus on your work and go, uh, you know, carry on your path or your journey alone, or you can, uh, you know, embrace um, a new way of life and uh, socialize a lot more and, um, you know, open your uh, the, the door to a new relationship like that. So you have to make some kind of choice. 
You've got the Knight of Raphael over here, so committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So it looks like there is an offer coming in for you. You know, even with that uh, Four of Teacups, that's usually the offer card. Uh, so somebody's bringing in an offer for you uh, and um, maybe somebody that you're working with that you didn't even realize, uh, um, you know, has... Um, you know, uh, feelings for you, and it looks like they're going to be bringing in uh, an offer, and uh, you know, it's being swept off your feet. So it's going to be a really good romantic offer and something that will end up being long term because it ends also with the Four of Raphael over here and the Four of Teacups. So seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in life, and be aware of your own emotions. So both these uh, spreads ending with uh, the Four of Cups. So there is a brand new offer coming in for you when you least expect it. And also it is, uh, you know, something, uh, you know, usually with that four of cups, uh, you, you're so focused on, on um, you know, your present situation that you don't see it coming really. So there is that offer coming in for you here in both these cases where you've been so focused on your work uh, and you don't see that offer coming in and it, and it ends up being very stable uh, becomes a stable relationship because it's a four um, and uh, you know it brings you emotional stability in that particular um, relationship uh, this new offer that comes in so it looks like there is something coming in and you are you do need to have some fun get out of uh, overworking and over focusing on whatever you're doing at work if you're trying to manifest a new relationship uh, because there are people that admire you even though you're not aware of it and it looks like there's some kind of legal news coming in for you but also things are going to start moving pretty quickly for you uh, you know there might be some communication as well that comes in from this person, maybe they're sending you letters or messages, uh, and maybe you haven't even noticed it, or maybe you have been so busy uh, that you haven't gotten around to actually reading these messages, but this person seems like they're going to make some kind of offer. If you're dealing with toxic situations, walk away from it, rather than engaging uh, with these people that are giving you a hard time. So I hope that this reading resonates with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.